Hi, I'm Julie Flygar, and I'm a narcolepsy advocate. I'm really excited today to talk about how to communicate about cataplexy. I actually find cataplexy is a great symptom to start the conversation about narcolepsy in general because it is so unlike what people think about narcolepsy, which is usually that, uh, you know, that someone's going to fall asleep while they're standing or in the middle of a conversation. So when people ask me, oh, what's narcolepsy? What's that, what's that like to have? Um, I usually start and say, well, actually, what first started happening to me was that my knees were giving out on me when I was laughing at jokes. And right away, people realize, wow, that's so different from what they thought narcolepsy was. Um, and I also love talking about cataplexy because you have a chance to explain to people that um, cataplexy is actually the paralysis of dream sleep inappropriately happening during the day for people with narcolepsy. So every night when people enter dream sleep, uh, they become paralyzed so they don't act out their dreams since it would be quite dangerous if we acted out our dreams at night. Uh, so for someone with narcolepsy like myself, I'm actually, um, when I experience emotion during the day like laughter or annoyance, my brain is getting confused and signaling the exact same paralysis of dream sleep inappropriately while I'm conscious. Uh, I find that very, very fascinating, um, but also this is great, a great way to communicate about cataplexy because you are telling people something about themselves too. Usually people don't know that much about the dream cycle, and so they've learned something about themselves, but also about narcolepsy. Thanks so much for checking this out, and I'll see you soon.